And there's dogs in the background because that's the theme song to our interview. It is the theme song to our interview. And this is actually being recorded and this is going to be a part of the interview. Are you alright with that? They're my kids, what can I say? He loves dogs, he loves cats and he loves writing because writing comes from... Yeah, inside, deep within. And all those dark, dark little places at the back of one's mind, all those secret little doors that you keep locked with those skeleton keys, I get to open all of them. And I'm assuming that's what 25 plus poems, a short story, and all those little proses in your new book is going to be about. Uh, it's going to cover a variety of topics. I mean, anyone who knows me would know that I would uh, definitely twist a few undies and twist a few minds and uh, what I write is provocative and I deal with a lot of lot of different themes and topics same thing with stigmata lyrics really except this I think uh, encapsulates a lot more personal sentiments and feelings, personal experiences. Um, and yeah, there are 28 poems uh, covering a variety of topics. You name it, it's there. Um, well, you name it, it's there in the sense not all the conventional stuff. Um, then there, is, there are a couple of rants and ramblings. Uh, there's prose, like you said. And then there's also a piece of short fiction that I've written, which I'm kind of really, really excited about. So it's, it's a full collection of different, different types of writing. But I have to say, although I've been writing from the time I was about 11 years old, and like drawing cartoon stuff and on exercise notebooks and then just writing different stories. I've always loved telling stories and I've always loved anything which has a lot of layers, which has a lot more than meets the eye, mm. whether it's music or film or theater. So um, I'm really excited. You said in a recent interview that this book took you about a year to like put together. Um, I know you have like one of the craziest schedules for a musician in our home music scene from doing crazy gigs to your day jobs to your children. Um, how long did it really put all this, uh, how long did it take for you to put all of this together and also this material? Has it been like how many decades of work? To be completely honest, I write a lot. As a creative person, as a creative writer and an advertising guy and a brand consultant, my creative well doesn't like ever dry out. So when I get inspired and when I get into that creative mode, speaking of kids, it's okay if this goes, no? Will you stop it, Tanga? Sorry about that. It's an occupational hazard when you have five dogs and four cats. Um, where was I? About your creative well never drawing oh, up. Yeah, so it doesn't really really dry up. So I have different sources of inspiration at different times. I mean, I could, I could be reading a newspaper article or something in the Time magazine, or I could be just having a very, very, very uh, passionate and deep conversation with a person. You could hear a piece of music, you could watch a movie, and you can get like different ideas. So I've always, even with Stigmata, loved the aspect that we can actually tell stories and move people and uh, sing about stuff and deal about topics and stuff that resonate with people. So with my writing, though I write a lot of stuff, actually all the material that I have picked to be on this uh, is stuff I've written in 2016 and 2017, not hmm. the earlier stuff. Ah, right. So I'm assuming maybe book two would have these, or is it too early for me to ask you this? I think you see as, again, as, as um, 
a creative person, you always strive to kind of inculcate a lot more knowledge into what you do, to learn from your experiences. I mean, man, this is the first book I'm releasing at this tender age of 34. But uh, I heard you giggle, by the way. Um, it's, it's taken forever, but it's also taken me a long time to get confident with my writing, because uh, I'm not new to writing, but this is a new venture mm. in terms of me releasing it to the public in this way. So, so your event is going to be on the 4th of the month, and you've picked a whole heap of people to read. Why? One thing is these are all people that have been inspirations to me personally as a writer, as a creative person. And uh, um, I also felt that they would be able to bring what I have written to light and life much better than I would be able to. Um, so the people that are actually going to honor me with readings on the 4th going to be, we have people like Jerome De Silva, Shanuki De Alves, Warden Reverend Mark Billy Moria from St. Thomas's College, and uh, Michelle Hurft, Shevan Daniels, Yudanje Vijay Ratna, uh, Shehan Karuna Tilaka, and Dr. Sunit Rajawasan. So uh, these are all guys who are exceptional at what they do and have really, really garnered a lot of respect doing what they do in their respective vocations. And I'm just happy they're going to be there, man. Also, like, um, this book after its release, would it be out on certain uh, bookstores or would it be out on Amazon and all those other places? Essentially what I'm doing is I'm just doing a very practical small amount of books. So I'm just going to do like 200, 300. Uh, and I'm going to have them at the event, which is on Friday the 4th, August, at Barefoot Cafe and Gallery. And uh, it's, it's, it's a walk-in event. It's, it's free. Anyone can turn up for it. But the books will be available for sale independently, separately there. So if they're inspired and if they think it's worth purchasing or picking up after they experience the event and the readings, uh, they're welcome to do so. Jai